Hi, this is going to be a quick video on diagnosing a weak ignition coil. If you have a older style ignition system that has a separate coil, now this is a high voltage coil in a Ford. Uh, this was the original coil, uh, 1983. And it, the problem, a weak coil, uh, it's rare that you have ignition coil problems, uh, but they can be, you know, coil is either good, bad, or it can have some shorted windings and be weak. And it will present itself somewhat as a fuel problem. You can start up in idle. Starting it might be hard. Um, you'll you'll check for spark and it'll show spark but it's kind of weak if you have a, another spark a good coil to compare it to uh, and it will let you you'll you'll be able to drive but as soon as you start to load it up and start giving it more fuel maybe over like 15 20 miles an hour then it starts to ba 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 you know kind of die out and you go ahead and let off the pedal and it, go, it, it runs okay and then you start to give it a little bit of pedal and it starts to die out so it almost seems like it's a fuel delivery problem so I'm going to uh, show you the I've got the good coil hooked up right now and I've got uh, it hooked to a spark plug so I'm going to grab the camera and We'll take a look at the spark with a good coil. Okay, I've got the key set to on, and with a older Ford here with the solenoid on the outside here on the fender well, we can just jump it here. So let's see what that spark looks like. So that's that's a good coil, and uh, what's nice with the uh, with the with this ignition system on the Ford, you can just come straight from the coil. You can easily it's got the same uh, connector as the spark plug uh, that goes to the coil. So I'm gonna swap out and put in the weak coil, and let's see what that looks like. Okay, now this is going to be the weak coil. Let's see if we can tell the difference. Yeah, you actually can. The uh, good coil has more of a yellow spark to it, and this is just blue so if we compare and go back and forth um we'll you know if we replay the video um you'll see that the let's let's do this one more time this is the uh this is the weak coil and it's more of a just a blue spark And the good coil has a hotter spark to it. Uh, it has more of a yellow-orange look to it. And I'm hoping all that shows up, the difference on the video. Hey, with the weak coil hooked up, let's see what it'll do. Um, the engine is warm, so it might, um, you know, it might start okay when the engine is cold the coil will have a hard time starting just because you're in kind of more of a rich situation so let's see what it does this is a weak coil let's see if it will start or how hard it starts with the good coil it's you just touch it and bang it, it goes so let's see what happens Ah, yeah, see that? It's, it's, it's trot. You could hear it kick, 
but um, we'll do that again. You can hear it kick. You know, it's trying. Ah. ah, see, that started died out. So I'm going to switch it. I'm going to turn the key off since, since it's hot. Switch over to the uh, good coil, and we should see an instant difference. All right, let's see. Almost like live streaming here. All right, so good coils hooked back up. And let's get that out so it doesn't fall. And I'm just going to give that, I'm going to give it one little bump of gas here. And let's hit this and see what happens. See, that starts up nice and smooth. So let me cut it off and we'll close this out. Okay, so to recap, um, the weak coil uh, gave us a kind of just a blue, a blue spark. Um, and it didn't seem as strong. It was hard to, you couldn't really hear with trying to crank it. But if you're right up next, you can hear it's, it's more, uh, the, the strong coil gives a zap, zap, zap and gave that uh, blue spark uh, and the symptoms will present yourself you saw when we hooked up the weak coil and went to start it it you know it was like uh, you know just you know you could tell it wanted to like it, it, and it finally did but it uh you know it acts more like a fuel problem you'll sit there and crank and crank and crank and you'll get it running and it'll finally start and then you'll take off to drive and it'll start to go and it'll blah, 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 you know die out so checking and checking out a coil like you check spark don't be convinced you've absolutely got good you might have spark but it's not good spark and swapping out a coil is quick and easy um so if you enjoyed this video, grab your good hot coil and spark down on that like and subscribe button. Please comment, share, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.